Following contest set for one fall is for the WWE Championship. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Paul Heyman from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 218 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, C. N. Punk. We've talked all night about how the Royal Rumble is about numbers. Here's a number you need to know. 434. 434 days, over 14 months, CM Punk has been WWE Champion. Yeah. He calls it, quote, my life's work. Right. You line him up, CM Punk's going to beat them all. And tonight, we're all going to finally acknowledge that CM Punk is the best in the world. His record says he is. It's just a different feel when this man walks into an arena. It's nothing short of electric. Oh, you're right about that. The Rock is a third-generation superstar. His grandfather, the late, great Peter Maivia. His father, Rocky Johnson. And, of course, The Rock himself, a seven-time WWE Champion. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, C.M. Punk! Now there's Paul Heyman in the corner with his guy, Punk, giving him a little pep talk. Uh-oh. It's an electric atmosphere here at the Royal Rumble. Punk and The Rock. C.M. Punk. One of the longest reigning WWE champions in history. He brags about being the best in the world and came as an opportunity to prove it tonight against the legendary Rock. Yeah, you're talking about the Rock, though. I mean, his list of accolades is endless. Rock Punk. Match nearly a year in the making. This is what it is all about. The WWE Championship. Listen to this place. I can't wait. The hair on the back of my neck is standing up. Here they go. The Brahma Bull The Rock promised the world that he would win the WWE Championship tonight. A very bold prediction for a man who hasn't been in the ring for months going up against a man who has been champion for over 14 months. Yeah, and you know, CM Punk also made a promise. He promised the WWE Universe that at the end of the Royal Rumble, he would still be WWE Champion. Somebody's promise is going to get broken.
Oh, jeez. And he lands in a heap. Now momentum is in the 14 months. Yeah, and you know, CM Punk also made a promise. He promised the WWE Universe that at the end of the Royal Rumble, he would still be WWE Champion. Somebody's promise is going to get broken. Are the Rock's plan has got him on a roll here tonight. Man, if the Shield gets involved in this matchup here tonight, Mr. McMahon has said he will strip CM Punk of the WWE Championship. And despite all the evidence to the contrary, CM Punk continues to claim that he has nothing to do with the Shield. That remains to be seen, I'd say. You know I have a great deal of respect for Mr. McMahon, but stripping CM Punk of the title is not the way to end a 434-day championship reign. That title should be decided in the middle of the ring. Boy, he was able to reverse and get out of that. Oh, Timber, and he falls hard. He's got evil intentions. Oh, a reversal. Oh. Whoa, whoa. A tough jawbreaker there. It's back and forth all night. Unbelievable. Uh, Paul Heyman watching from ringside. You know, some say Heyman might actually be a genius and that he plays a big part in Punk's recent success. To add fuel to that fire, Paul Heyman is the only person in history to manage three straight WWE champions. And did I say might be a genius, Cole? Of course he thinks he's a genius. <clears throat> uh, just look at the names he's brought to the top. Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle, Big Show, CM Punk, and the list goes on and on. Two... Big elbow. Now back to the ring. The Rock. And what a reversal from CM Punk. It's been over 10 years since The Rock has been WWE Champion. But he has the heart of a champion, and that never goes away. Yeah, it's a big fight feel here in Phoenix, and it's all about the WWE title. A championship that The Rock hasn't held in 3,808 days. Man, that's a long time. Rock might want to go back to Hollywood after this one. Man, I've been hoping we'd see this match ever since CM Punk's now-famous pipe bomb speech in the summer of 2011. Of course, Kane's referring to the night CM Punk took a shot at nearly everybody in the business, including The Rock, saying the great one is among the best. And that should do it. We've heard it many times over the past few weeks. Why would a big movie star like The hey, Rock... Hey, Kane, look at Rock. Rock's ready. The Brahma Bull stalking CM Punk. And here he goes. He's got Punk. And go uh oh, he was going for the Rock bottom, and now Punk is fighting out of this. And look at CM Punk hammering the Rock. Rock is stunned. Now for the oh. GTS. Oh, look at this. Uh -oh. oh, what for the GTS? And what a counter by Rock and King. Rock sent up Punk. Look at the sharpshooter. Are you kidding me? The Rock with the sharpshooter. But wait a minute. Look at CM Punk. He's rolled Rock through. He's going for the Anaconda Vice. Submission move. Submission move. Whoa, don't get up. CM Punk calls this WWE Championship reign his life's work. The Rock calls these 434 days misery. I don't think there's any doubt that if CM Punk can beat The Rock here at the Royal Rumble, he's going to be in the conversation for the best ever. Oh, come on, he already is. I mean, how could he not be? It's been 434 days. How could he not be considered the best in the world? And there's the reversal from CM Punk. Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. And here's The Rock. Earlier tonight, King, John Cena eliminated Ryback to win the Royal Rumble match. Which means John Cena now has a guaranteed championship match at WrestleMania. The only question that remains is, will he challenge for the WWE Championship or the World Heavyweight Championship? You would have to think that if Rock can pull it off here tonight, John Cena would jump at the opportunity to challenge him, especially considering he lost to the great one at last year's WrestleMania. If I know Cena, he'll be looking for redemption. Punk got tattooed! Oh, a serious knockout blow! Jeez, what a collision. Deposited onto our table here. One, two. 
The Rock going for it. We saw Three. Chris Jericho here. Early. Big impact into the guardrail. And this is going to return to the ring. He's going for it all. Back into the ring now. Oh, no! Oh, The Rock's looking good right now. But he's facing a battle-tested champion in CM Punk. Yes, yeah, CM Punk goes every single night. He misses very little time with the exception of the Oh, jeez. Oh, the... involved in your matchup, we would strip you of the championship. Oh, oh baby. Oh, I know, no, no, no. I know. Technically, we couldn't. Technically, we couldn't see the shield involved, right? So that means we're all stupid. It wasn't the shield. CM Punk, it is my duty. No, 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 no. We ain't ending this night like that. You don't take it from him. I am. Oh! We start the match now. Are you kidding me? You are the man, Rick Scott. The yes! <laughs> Look at Heyman, he's going nuts! Well, just when Mr. McMahon was about to strip CM Punk of the title, The Rock said, no, no, no. The Rock didn't want that to happen tonight. The Rock wants to be the man to take the title from CM Punk. So the match has been restarted. This past Monday on Raw, The Rock was a victim of a triple power bomb at the hands of The Shield. He suffered internal bleeding as a result of the attack. Yeah, that was just six days ago. There's no way he's recovered from that. And you know, King, if CM Punk is smart, he'll focus his attention on The Rock's midsection, on those injured ribs. That suplex was picture perfect. Great counter. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do? His shoulders are down. How's 
he's still on his feet. He's in big trouble. Look out! And CM Punk nails it. Hooks the leg. Oh! Oh, and he got dropped. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. People's elbow, the rock, right to the heart. Into the cover, hooks the leg. Two, three. The great one, maybe the greatest of all time, has delivered tonight. Oh, man, what an electric moment here tonight at the Royal Rumble. And we are now officially on the road to WrestleMania.